Today on Business Success in Six with Stacy, I have Danielle Goss here from Coolmox in River Falls, Wisconsin. Danielle, thanks for jumping on with me today. Hello, thanks for having me. Really excited to ask you about Coolmox, what your brand is and how you can enhance our community's lives. Is it okay if I ask you six questions about Coolmox? Perfect. Let's let's jump in. <laughs> All right, cool. When people ask you what Coolmox does or is, how do you describe your business? Yeah, so we're a ready to drink craft mocktail business on a mission to help everyone feel part of the social drinking experience. So, um, you know, the brand um, started by being built in 2019 when I was seven months pregnant. And here we are, 2023 pandemic, uh, you know, not phased in all. Here we are um, just trying to help, you know, people enjoy life's occasions on their terms. It's so great. Such a healthy alternative to to continuing to drink and drink and drink, or for somebody that doesn't drink at all, a cool alternative to allow them to have something really tasty and ready besides just water with a lemon, right? Mm -hmm, definitely. Wonderful. So you talked a little bit about the history already. What were your plans when you started in 2019, seven months pregnant, and how has your business changed and evolved since then? Sure. So that's that's when we started building the brand after we had learned that just beyond my needs and wants as an expectant mother, that a lot more people um, than just, you know, pregnant women were looking for a great tasting NA adult drink. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we we had learned that the demands were high for, you know, really people trying to moderate and cut back on their alcohol consumption. And there was a, a real white space in, um, you know, retail bars, restaurants, um, those types of settings for meeting people where they are at so they could continue to enjoy life's occasions. Um, so, you know, we worked on building the brand. We eventually then launched um, three of our now six uh, craft mocktails in um, the Midwest, primarily Wisconsin and Minnesota markets in July of 2020. Um, and then, you know, since then we've doubled our craft mocktail lineup um, and we are you know, very much an emerging brand, um, you know, proudly out of Wisconsin, but we're growing, you know, across about half the country now in a number of retailers. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Congratulations on growing so quickly. So just a side question. Can you um, tell me some of the flavors that you have of these cool mocks and just like expand upon it for our viewers? Yeah, of course. I'm going to just go ahead and shift my monitor a bit. It's always helpful to see them in the background, but um, so we have six um, delicious craft mocktails. They're all meant to give the experience of having a great tasting cocktail just without the booze. Um, so very familiar flavors of your traditional cocktails. We have, um, I'll start right here, but we've got a classic macarita. Um, okay. Agave tequila flavor infusion, fresh lime. The mock G and T is the next one here, the blue one. Um, it has nice botanical gin uh, spirit notes, um, super light, refreshing and zesty, only 35 calories. It's our lightest mocktail yet. Our peach hibiscus cider is the orange one um, that has peach, honey crisp apple, a touch of floral hibiscus and a vodka type infusion. And then the three on this side are our strawberry macarita. So again, an agave tequila flavor infusion, fresh strawberry lime. Uh, the blackberry mojito is the purple one um, that has, you know, um, just fresh, flat, fresh blackberry garden, fresh mint lime um, with a rum flavor infusion. And then last but definitely not least because it's one of my favorites is the mock mule so um mm -hmm. that nice ginger flavor you'd expect from a moscow mule uh freshly squeezed uh lime and then a vodka type infusion they're all meant to be enjoyed straight from the can or you can you know fancy them up with your uh favorite cocktail glass love it thank you so much for sharing that i know that wasn't one of the questions but i'm just so curious yeah um, so what is the biggest way that you impact the community right now? Um, you know, for us, the, uh, the product itself has an impact in how people are able to um, really 
take on this journey of moderating or maybe cutting back alcohol in their lifestyle. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a registered dietitian by trade and it's interesting because I, I feel like alcohol's kind of gotten the hall pass in you know, the last 10 to 15 years in terms of health and wellness reg uh, recommendations. Mm -hmm. uh, but our brand is really focused on helping people meeting them where they're at, right? So from a health perspective, if they're trying to moderate, now we have options and it, and it, and that's how you know we're able to try and support people on that journey. If someone traditionally just wasn't a drinker and they never had something that was special and curated for them, now they can have something. And you know, beyond just cool Max, the category overall, some great NA beers, wines, you name it that are now on the market. So it's really, you know, a combination of a lot of wonderful factors with the this emergence of, you know, a demand for NA drinks that is a supportive environment for people. And then, you know, beyond the product at Coolmox, we have a program called Coolmox Cares. Um, it's a part of our business that is, you know, important for giving back and having purpose within our brand. So, you know, we started off in 2020. We did um, some sponsorship stuff with a group called Sober Mom Squad, which allowed uh, women who are trying to cut back or live a sober lifestyle and motherhood um, be able to, you know, get scholarships and, and be able to have support in that journey for them. And, oh, wow. um, you know, product donations to local hospitals, just random things along the way. We're not a huge company yet, but we, you know, the core of the Cool Max Cares program was to be able to start something, even mm -hmm. if we're not big yet, because you shouldn't have to be wildly successful and crazy big to be able to make a difference. So I would say we're, we're not doing a ton yet, but we're excited to continue to, you know, get more involved within our communities to do more good. Well, and you tr truly, you really are impacting the community in so many ways. And I think about, you know, I start thinking about like even um, certain religions that can't consume alcohol and how this can be a bridge for them to connect with other people that might not, you know, practice their faith. Or I think about the, the people that just take it too far when you're out on that boat, like we were talking about before, if you're sitting on the pontoon all day and you just need to hydrate a little bit without having so much, you can pace yourself. So, so many ways you're impacting the community. I love the product. Thank you so much for, for doing so much already. You really are. So my next question for you is what is one challenge that you have faced that other business owners could learn from? Oh, well, as a brand that was grown out of, you know, being super pregnant as a woman and having a newborn at home with the pandemic hit, um, you know, it was an interesting start. I'm sure I could have a lot of conversations about, you know, the barriers there, but from just a business perspective, I think um, other people could learn from um, um, just the recommendation of knowing your numbers and working with people who have been there, done that. When people offer to, um, you know, support their, like in Wisconsin, um, specifically, there's a group called the Food Finance Institute out of Madison. And I mean, there are some amazing organizations that are built to help support growing entrepreneurial brands. So don't uh, feel like you have to go at it alone. There are some amazing resources to really help you flourish as, you know, someone that is starting something new and you maybe don't have, you know, a whole built out team with all the resources yet. Mm. Such a, such a great, great message. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And, you know, being a dietitian, you have all this education, but as a, as a dietitian major, we don't, we don't have the opportunity to do all the finance classes or the marketing classes or whatever. So that's so beautiful that you're using others as well. Thank you for that. What does the future look like to you? And do you have an exit plan? Yeah, um, future for us right now is we're we're really focused on our path to profitability as a business. Um, you know, the more um, we grow and strategically in the right markets and places to help people, you know, be able to have that option on product shelves, um, we'll be able to do more as a business, but also be able to do more good at the same time through, you know, the initiative we talked about earlier. Um, we want to build this brand 
to, you know, the extent we're able to as, you know, a small business at this time. And then, you know, we would love to, you know, sell the business at some point to a larger business who's able to truly give the business the resource it needs to grow and flourish and make a huge impact across the country. So, you know, we're on that journey right now. Love it. Thank you. My final question for you is all subjects open. What inspires you most? Oh, that's, that's a deep question. Um, what inspires me most is, I mean, I, I would just have to say my faith, um, being able to at least, you know, this interview is primarily about the business and without that, I wouldn't have been able to weather all the crazy challenges that have come upon us in the last, um, you know, number of years. Most of them, you know, have just been great learning opportunities um, that we've been able to grow from and learn and, you know, ultimately be in a position now where we're in a really good spot to um, continue to bring the cool Mox experience to people and help people enjoy life's life on, on their terms. So that'd really be where I'd focus my number one inspiration. It's just really focusing on my faith and leaning into that during the, the good and, and the hard times. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing that. So if somebody wants to enjoy, try and consume these awesome Clomox, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you or your brand, your business? Let us know. Yeah. So um, consumers head on to, um, well, if you're in Wisconsin, go to your local store. It's probably there in the NA section. Otherwise hit up our website, coolmox.com. Um, and you can check out our store locator. We, um, you know, if you can't find a store that's local, you can um, purchase through our website or on Amazon, where we also sell our brand. Uh, from a business perspective, you know, shoot us a contact form through our website or find me on LinkedIn. I love connecting with other business owners and, you know, just other working professionals to see how we can collaborate and, um, you know, make conversations from there. Love it. Thank you so much for your time, for sharing Cool Mox with us and with the world. Danielle, it's been a pleasure. Good luck growing and have fun doing it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Stacey. Appreciate it. My pleasure.